Peace building involves governments, militaries, and non-governmental organizations, but it also requires public support. Everyday people can demand an end to violence and encourage officials to create peace agreements and build democratic societies. Artists and musicians are often the leading voices of public calls for peace, inspiring broad support for ending conflicts. The musician Juanes became a voice of inspiration for the people of Colombia as they sought an end to their country's violent conflict. Here is his story. My name is Juanes, I'm from Colombia. I was born in Medellin. I am a musician. Growing up in Colombia was a, a world of contrast. You know, on one side, all the beauties of, of our country, or, or all the family, all the love that I received from my family. But at the same time, I was in this city. It's in this environment of losing people, losing families. Somebody was kidnapped, somebody was killed. For kids, they lost everything. They lost the family, they lost the hope, they lost the dreams. The damage is terrible, you know, it's like huge. It's really terrible. That was the reason why music became so powerful for me to escape and at the same time to express all my feelings, all, all my fears uh, that I was having at the time as a, as a teenager. That was like the first time I really started to write songs and to uh, think about what was happening around me. I couldn't understand the way we, we kill each other, you know, and I still don't understand the way, I mean, why we are killing each other. I wrote a song called Fijate Bien. In this song, I talk about the landmine situation. Fijate bien donde pisas, fijate cuando caminas. No vaya a ser que una mina te desbarate los pies. After this song was released, all different uh, organizations started to invite me to participate in different campaigns. Colombia is one of the most affected countries by landmines, and we really need help now. And so I said, well, I'm I'm just a musician, but, but if I can do something through art to help uh, in any way, I, I will do it because I want to do it. We were in the middle of this um, difficult situation between Venezuela, Colombia, and Ecuador. So the Peace Without for the concert uh, became as a, almost as a crazy idea. We build a stage there, right on the border, and all people get together from Colombia, from Venezuela, from Ecuador, and it was one of the most beautiful things. We were like seven artists from different countries, and we did a concert. We tried to call the attention to the young people, uh, to bring peace as a concept, just to to think that peace is something possible if we work all together. Sometimes people ask me, hey, what can I do just to help? And I always say, well, the, the fact you know something, you understand something that you have in your heart, that's a good uh, start. The idea for us is just to keep going with Passing Fronteras concerts. If it's in La Habana, or if it's in Venezuela, or El Paso, whatever it is, we want to go there, we want to perform, we want to just bring happiness to the music. I just want to be part of this, and I want to bring people to the table if I can, and just try to help to build a different future for our country.